Hi everyone, so I'm back at uni this week. Was on Easter holidays last week. It was quite nice, but a bit stressful till the end because I was um, doing an essay. But finally got that done, it was due in yesterday, it's gone in, yay! Also had an exam yesterday, which was the anatomy and physiology exam I mentioned before, where you go around the stations and they just ask you some questions and you get about a minute for each question. And that was good. And I found out that I know a little bit less than I thought I did in some areas and a little bit more than I thought I knew in other areas so thankfully it doesn't actually count towards any of my grades I just need to revise really in general This morning we had a PBL session which is problem based learning as you probably know by now This week is a consolidation week so we actually went over all of the case units in the last, the last term that we covered so that was four case units We were given a vignette which was a sort of a patient scenario one of the scenarios, for example, was a, a lady who came in with a, a lump in her breast and we covered all of the anatomy, physiology and any anything else really that we need to know for that particular case unit. So, for example, the stages and grades of cancer and also how we go about checking for lumps in the breast, the types of um, scanning techniques that we might use. So the discussion is in order for us to identify any areas of weakness that we need to cover during consolidation week it's all about revision really tomorrow just have a lecture and then thursday i've got my combined competency which i have been practicing today with my friends so i've I mentioned this before i think it's a cardiovascular respiratory and gastrointestinal examination and it starts from the hands you work up to your head and the back down again to all the way to the feet so the examination involves inspection, auscultation, palpation and percussion of the chest, the abdomen. You also have a little look at their legs, their arms, their, their face, their mouth and their eyes. And there are lots of different just tests really that you're, you're doing just to make sure that everything's working okay. That they don't have any heart problems, breathing problems and any abdominal problems. So for example, when you're assessing the hands, you have to check for sort of any sweating, uh, excessive sweating going on, the general look of the hands, like nicotine staining that they might have, um, also peripheral cyanosis, so you would do like a, a capillary refill just to make sure that they're refilling okay. But sometimes I might forget, just because it, you're nervous, it's an exam, like to check for clubbing, for example. I don't know what this is called. So I've just looked it up and it's called the Shamroth test. Clubbing is associated with lung disease, heart disease, gastrointestinal diseases. However, it says here that idiopathic clubbing can occur as 60% of cases have no associated underlying disease. So just because you've got club fingers doesn't mean that you've got anything wrong with you. Anyway, as I was saying, that happens quite a lot. I have to look up things and then life just goes on hold. It's very easy to miss out some of the tests you have to do in the combined competency exam. So that's why I and everybody else will be practicing it a lot before Thursday. And then we have a workshop where we have a patient simulation of an emergency and we have to deal with it. I believe from what I've heard someone's going to have a heart attack and we have to deal with the situation. We haven't really been told much about it but it's just on the timetable so we should see how that's going to pan out. I'll let you know. So I'm just reading what it says now and it says you'll like this. A chemical emergency is recreated and here you will visit the core science that underpins the decisions you must make. Ooh, how exciting. Then on Friday we've got a lecture where we just go over the answers to an online quiz that we have to do throughout this week. Again, it's just answering questions about topic a topic that you know we should know. So we should already know all this stuff. And again, it's just highlighting gaps in our knowledge. And then Saturday, I've got the ball, which is the med ball. So that should be really fun. Um, have a little breather in between all of this intense revision that we're doing at the moment. Tuesday next week, I'm I need to hand in another essay so I'm working on that at the moment it's a reflective essay so that's pretty much my week and I'll let you know next week how things went it's, it's quite a strange week consolidation week because we're not learning anything new but it's just a lot of revision and they kind of fling in a few different things for us to do like the workshop which is just a bit different from what we're usually doing I'll see you all next week bye everyone